Stephen Hawking's book A Brief History of Time is an interesting look at the world and the rules that govern it. The book is one of the most important science books of the 20th century. It is a seminal work in the field of theoretical physics. There are 10 chapters in the book, and each one looks at a different part of the world. Hawking starts by looking at how the world came to be and the basic rules of physics that explain how it works. He then talks about some of the most important findings and theories in the history of physics, such as the Copernican Revolution, the laws of motion, the discovery of black holes, and the development of relativity theory. Time is one of the most important ideas in the book. Hawking spends a whole chapter talking about what time is and how it works in the world. He looks at the idea of the arrow of time, which says that time always moves forward and can never go backward. Hawking uses simple language and analogies to explain complicated ideas like entropy and thermodynamics, which help to explain why time only moves in one way. Hawking also talks about relativity, which is one of the most important scientific ideas of the last 100 years. He explains the idea of the space-time continuum, which says that space and time are linked in a way that can't be broken and that mass and energy can change how space and time work. He also talks about the idea of time dilation, which says that time can move at different speeds for different things. The book also talks about black holes, which are one of the strangest and most interesting things in the world. Hawking explains what black holes are, how they are made, and how they act. He also talks about the idea of Hawking radiation, which says that black holes are not completely black but do give off radiation that can be found. Hawking also talks about cosmology, which is the study of how the world came to be, how it has changed over time, and how it is put together. He looks at some of the most important findings in this field, like the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, which supports the idea that the universe was hot and dense when it was first formed. The unified theory, or the idea that all the underlying forces of nature can be explained by a single theory, is another important idea in the book. Hawking looks at how this theory is being looked for and the different ideas that have been put forward, such as string theory and loop quantum gravity. Hawking also talks about time travel, which is one of the most popular and long-lasting ideas in science fiction. He talks about the paradoxes that come up when you travel through time, like the grandfather paradox, and the different ideas that have been put forward to explain them. Lastly, the book talks about what will happen to the world in the end. Hawking looks at two possibilities, the big crunch, in which the universe finally collapses back on itself, and the heat death, in which the universe keeps growing forever. He also talks about the idea of a multiverse, in which there are many worlds besides our own. One of the most interesting things about the book is how Hawking uses everyday examples to describe difficult scientific ideas. For example, he uses the example of a golfer getting a hole-in-one to explain the idea of a singularity, which is the point at the center of a black hole where the rules of physics stop working. In another case, he uses a chess game to explain the idea of determinism, which says that the past already decides what will happen in the future. He says that the universe is like a game of chess, where the result is set by the moves that have already been made, but the players still have some choice in what they do. Hawking also talks about his own life to show how scientific ideas work. For example, he talks about how having motor neuron disease helped him understand the idea of entropy, which is a way to measure how messy a system is. He says that as his physical skills got worse, it got harder and harder for him to keep things in order around him. This helped him understand the second law of thermodynamics, which says that entropy always goes up with time. Overall, A Brief History of Time is an amazing book that helps people learn more about the world and how we fit into it. Hawking's ability to explain hard ideas in easy-to-understand terms is truly amazing, and his love for his subject comes through on every page. Whether you are a scientist, a student, or just someone with a curious mind, you should read this book. It will make you feel awe and wonder at how big and complicated our universe is.